Uh, here at the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame with former world champion and all around great guy, Raul Marquez. At least as far as I know. I don't know him that well, though. Of course I'm a great guy. <laughs> all right, Raul, let's get to that in a second. First of all, this event here looks like a great turnout, lots of great fighters, uh, current and former. What do you think about this setting going on right now? Oh, I think it's uh, it's great for, for you know the boxing fans. Uh, I think it's a good thing that my, you know my good friend Rich Murata is doing. You know, the Las Vegas uh, Hall, of the Hall of Fame, right? That's what it's called. The, uh, it brings, it, yeah, Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame. It brings all the who's who in the boxing community together. Uh, it's a good uh, day to do it because it's right before the big fight, you know, and uh, I've seen a couple of guys, you know, Roy Jones, uh, I saw Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, uh, James Quick Tillis, Jeff Finnick, uh, you know, it, I'm walking around, see who I see, shake hands, and Richard Steele, Joe Cortez, myself, you know, I'm talking matter here, but uh, it's fun, man, it's good, it's great. All right, well, let's get to the big event this weekend. First of all, tell us what you're going to be doing, because I know uh, everybody wants to be part of this. What's your, what's your uh, job entail? I'm just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy, I'm blessed to be a part of this. I mean, this is history, man, and uh, when I heard about it, I said, man, I hope they call me, I hope I'm part of it. I'm doing the Spanish feed for the, the pay-per-view telecast. You know, as everybody knows, I do Showtime, the big fights. I do them in Spanish, and I do Showbox, too, in English with, you know, Barry Thompson and Steve Farhood. But I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm excited, man. Uh, this is a fight that's been talked about for many years, and uh, now it's it's finally going to happen. Uh, it, it's, uh, you know, created so much attention all over the world, all over the, 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 I mean, not just the boxing fans, but people that are not even boxing fans are buying this fight from what I hear, you know, like the the, 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 the grandma, the, the aunt that doesn't know nothing about boxing uh, are buying the fight. So, you know, I'm excited to be a part of it and, and be calling the fight, uh, you know, for the Spanish uh, pay-per-view part. And how lucky are you? You know, people are paying, you know, reportedly six figures yeah. for, uh, you know, front row seats. Where are you going to be? You're going to be even better. What's your seat worth? I'm going to be, oh, I don't know what it's worth, man, but I'm going to be right right there, right right behind, uh, you know, the other guys, uh, Al Bernstein and Lampley and Roy. So, uh, yeah, it, you know, it, it just, my, I don't think money could buy that seat, you know, because uh, I, I'm a huge boxing fan. I've, I'll, all I've known all my life is boxing since I was seven, six years old. And this is as big as it gets. I don't think in another lifetime, uh, who knows, I don't think maybe never there'll be an event like this in the boxing world because I'm, I'm just saying for the media that is, has attracted, uh, the, the paydays, the money that these guys are making, I mean, you, you know, Marvin Hagler, uh, Tommy Hearns, Duran, Leonard, you know, back when I used to watch, you know, them were super fights. Them guys, they were, they're were they great fighters, man. They're pound for pound the best. They never made this kind of money that they're making. I mean, that, that Floyd's making 200 mil and, you know, Manny, whatever he's making. It's it's crazy, man. It's it crazy. took you probably two or three fights to make that much, right? What's that again? It probably took you two or three fights to make that kind of dough. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I went, nobody, I mean, people that don't know about boxing, oh, man, I want to I wanna fight. Man, I want to make 200 mil. They, they just don't know, you know. But I, these guys have earned it. You know, they, they're well promote it they put themselves out there you know Floyd and Manny uh, they're world known and uh, I mean hey I I don't hate I appreciate it man I, good for them good for me that I'm working I have yeah, a you're job. getting paid I'm you don't paid. have to pay yeah hey I'm getting paid to watch the fight so you know and call the fight I mean you can't go wrong well, let's have you put your analyst hat on here real quick what does each guy need to do in order to get that decision well you know so many guys have you know, 48, whatever, tried with Floyd. Uh, you had strong guys, uh, really uh, guys that are kind of slick, uh, you know, slippery, dirty guys, all, whatever style, you know, every you know every style has been presented, you know, to to Floyd and, and for whatever reason, you know, he Floyd, he's smart. He's able to make, adapt and make changes and he's always able to figure out the right way to get the win, you know. Pacquiao, we know how he fights. I mean, it's a hard style for Floyd to figure out. Can he figure it out? I don't know. Floyd takes his time. He, he fights in spots, you know. Manny's an explosive fighter. He's real busy. He's, hit, he's throwing punches from different angles, not just three and four punch combinations. I mean, the guy throws like six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know. Punch combinations. You don't know where he's coming from. He's a lefty. He's tough. He ain't got nothing to lose. I mean, he he already lost before. He knows what it is to lose. He came back and won three more fights, so he got this fight. Um, but I think sooner or later, Floyd will figure him out. I mean, the, the key 
I think it's Floyd's jab. You know, he touches up and down jab. It's going to be like a radar. And I think Floyd, man, he's going to be running into straight leads uh, that Floyd's going to catch. Counter with straight leads, straight right leads, and left hooks. That's how I see the fight happen. He's going to outbox him in the second half of the fight. First half is going to be fun and close, exciting. But then Floyd's going to adapt and, and win by decision. Who's this fight bigger for? I mean, Floyd obviously covets his, you know, zero losses, so that's very important to him. But Manny kind of is a guy that has a whole nation behind him, you know, more so than Floyd. So who, who's got more pressure? I think I think Floyd's got the more pressure because he's never lost. You know, I think there's got to be something in him to be scared, nervous. Man, what if this guy beats me? I mean, I'm looking, I'm thinking like as a fighter. So I know that's got to be in him, man. If I lose, I mean, my zero will go, you know. Manny's already lost. Uh, I don't, I don't think Manny has any pressure, man. He's in the fighter meetings. He's looked very happy, and you know he's always smiling, and uh, he wants to give the fans a, a an exciting fight because of all the money they're paying for the tickets. He said it before, and he smiles about it. So yeah, I mean the pressure has to be on Floyd. And then very last thing, there's been a lot of buzz around. I guess. Uh uh, pessimist that that perhaps something could go wrong in this fight a controversial decision you know something trying to get a, a rematch or whatever with all the eyes of the nation and the world on this fight is it imperative that that we get a clear decision you know as far as boxing going forward and, and be able to build on the momentum of this fight oh absolutely it's very important because like I said people that are not even boxing fans are gonna be watching this fight and you know and you know boxing has had bad raps in the past whatever but it, it, you know it's 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 a sport you know it's a sport skills technique and you know these guys get paid to do it you know but I, I don't think uh, we'll have a bad decision I think you know it'll be fair judging fair refereeing and uh, and I and hope we get a, an exciting fight and it leaves up to the hype that that's what I want to see all right man we look forward to you calling the action well those of you that can speak Spanish anyway but <laughs> trust me, trust me. Um, all the uh, Hispanic fans man they they watch uh, the, the, the Spanish team. they like they like to hear me and Alejandro Luna, you know, uh, call the fight. All right, man. Look forward to it. Take care.